Today I'm gonna to try to learn to roll a coin. The trick works, simply speaking, by placing a coin on your index finger and pushing it in motion, letting it roll all the way down past your ring finger and passing it through the gap to your pinky to lastly be lifted back to the beginning again by your thumb. This trick should in theory work with any regular coin, but for it to roll easily, it should have a diameter roughly equal to or slightly less than that of your fingers. To help me practice, I brought a friend. <laughs> Three, two, one, go. <laughs> yeah, I don't need to be that fast in the beginning, I think. Uh. Oh. Are you supposed to have like crooked fingers or straight? <laughs> crooked fingers. <laughs> it was a lot harder than I expected. And that sound, the sound of the coin hitting the table. I don't think I've ever hated anything quite like I hated that sound. The constant reminder of failure that just grew louder and louder for every single second until until we realized we could put a shirt on the table. Yeah, that's it. We still weren't any closer to completing the trick, but at least it was a more relaxing experience. What's your tactic on learning? I'm trying to keep up the speed I want to get to, but I just do it completely chaotically. I don't know if that's a good idea. I don't get how you get speed in the first place. Well, I just let it go, I just like... Whew. In my opinion, there are basically three ways of doing this trick. I'll call them the manual, the semi-automatic and full auto. Let me explain. The simplest way is to manually push the coin over each finger. Uh, this is done by having the finger you want to push it to slightly above the previous finger, letting the coin rest against its side, and then pull that finger down and or push the previous finger up. Then when catching the coin at the end, the pink can preferably be raised as high as possible in order to easily bring the coin down in one motion. Then you push it onto your thumb and balance it through the air all the way back to the beginning. Or, alternatively, push it against your fingers if you don't want to risk dropping the coin. The difficult thing about this is you gotta time every move perfectly, especially if you want to go fast. That's the manual way of doing it. The semi-automatic way is to again start on the index finger, but instead of pushing it over each finger individually, you just let gravity take it all the way down. For this to be possible, you'll need to have your fingers in a downward slope of maybe about 20 to 30 degrees. The tricky part here is the initial push, which needs to be just right to make it roll. And then, in my opinion, the coolest looking of them all, if you can master it, the fully automatic, where you initiate the roll, not with your fingers, but with your thumb, by basically throwing the coin onto the index finger. Since it only really involves one single movement, it can in theory be done really fast, but it's also really hard. I thought one of us was gonna complete the trick within 15 minutes, and she thought it would take two hours. Little did we know that we were both very wrong. After almost three hours, it didn't feel like we'd made any progress at all, and we were starting to get impatient. I felt like I was better at this, like an hour ago. <laughs> I was better when I started. Maybe not, but I'm not very, not very good right now. She had to leave, but I pushed on. And finally, after six hours of a lot of failure and frustration, this happened. Now I'll be the first to admit that it was far from perfect, but I just had it with this challenge. I'm gonna count it. I'm gonna count it. I'm done with this. Never more. Bye bye.